Hey you guys. So today I'm going to be doing a review on some products that came out in the spring Maybelline line. And that is the, uh, ooh, not Maybelline. These are Rimmel London. Sorry. Um, and they are the Scandalize products. Can't really show you here. I have four products here, but since they're all of the same, like, brandy thingy, I figured I'd do this all in one review. So there we go. Um, let's start with the eyeliner. Okay, this is my second, uh, little thing of eyeliner here. Uh, and then, like I said, this just came out for spring, so I've gone through this pretty quickly. Um, uh, I can, here, I'll do this, like, so that you can actually see just how, like, perf. I, like, barely even touched that. It's perfect. Just, whatever. There you go. I don't even have anything else to say. Um... Another thing is it's super blendable until it dries and then it's going to like stay put so you see you can smudge it out there but in a second I'll try to smudge the other part and uh, it really stays in place. It kind of does a kind of a drying process. Um, I keep looking over here because I feel like my camera's over here but it's actually over here. Okay, there we go. Alright, so um, this for me is a dupe for the 24-7 Glide-On Pencils by Urban Decay, uh, which I know is a pretty big claim considering uh, those are tw like $20 and this was only about $4.59, I think. Uh, and that's like a really good price for an eyeliner regardless of if it's good or not, actually. Um, and this is actually like, it stays the best, it really does just glide on, it's uh, pretty fabulous. So yeah, would definitely recommend this, definitely, definitely. Um, another one that I got uh, of the eyeliners was this one here, I believe this one is in nude, well it looks nude, let me see if I can find a color name for you guys can't. Sorry, but it's the nude one. And uh, I use this uh, in my waterline sometimes. Oh my gosh, do I have the coordination? There you go. So that's just a nude color. So that just matches right to your skin tone. You can see here. Yeah. Really smooth, blendable, nice. Uh, really good color payoff. These are freaking awesome. I'm probably going to end up getting more of these. So yeah, that's how much I like them. Now, unfortunately, I don't have as good of a review for these poor little guys here. These are the Scandalized Cream Eyeshadow Stick. And I got them in two colors. Let's see if these have the color names. Ooh. This is Bad Girl Bronze. Right there. Swatch that right here. There you go. Barely any effort on that one. And then I got this one in Gossip Green. There's that. And there we go with that one. You can see those are really pretty colors. Ah. Uh, really nice. So here's the thing with this. Um, these cost about the same as the eyeliners. They were about uh, $4.50 or so, maybe $5. Um, and uh, I'm not a huge cream eyeshadow person anyway, uh, but I figured I'd go out on a limb and try these because I liked the other scandalized products so much. Uh, but unfortunately, I, I think it's just because I'm not a cream eyeshadow person, and I think if you really like cream eyeshadow, then this might be a really good option for you. However, for me, not so much. Um, my biggest issue is that they are, like, they're really blendable until they're not. Does that make sense? <laughs> I'm sorry. My pneumonia never really went away, to be honest. Um, so the thing is that, like, here. So, like... This green, like, yeah, it's really blendable. It's almost so blendable that it comes off. Um, the brown is much less blendable for some reason. I don't know why. Um, but here's the thing. Once they dry, they are dry. They are there. 
like they're not coming off for a while unless you actually um, take your makeup off with a makeup wipe. Um, so as far as the 24 hours, I haven't tried to wear them for 20. Oh well, yeah, I have. I've slept with them on before. Um, and uh, there were still remnants of them the day after. So uh, yeah. But, you know, no one's supposed to wear their makeup for 24 hours. Basically, what I'm saying is that these are long-lasting, uh, but they are cream eyeshadows. And I think that's why I have a bad opinion of them. Uh, so, yeah, I would not repurchase those. However, uh, this is my new go-to eyeliner. So, I would definitely suggest you guys check this out. $4.50, around there. Um, go check it out. Uh, yeah, so that has been my review. And I will see you guys in my next video. Oh, um, comments if you want to. Uh, if you want to know, like, some reviews or something. Um, subscribe because uh, I'm just starting a new channel. I had an old channel before, uh, but I'm just starting to post videos on this channel. So, yeah, that'd be great, too. Uh, thanks, you guys. Bye.